Hi there, collective. This is Kim here to do a reading for uh, really if you're drawn to whatever the title ends up being. I'm going to use the spellcasting deck and I'm going to use the Oracle uh, guidebook to help us out because um, I usually don't go into too much depth with these cards and I know that they created them with some kind of intent for, for things to be explained a little bit more. So I'm going to use the book and I'm um, asking that your spirit team join us, your spirit guides, your angels. And higher self, welcome, of course. I mean, now what the cards mean is ex self-explanatory, but there's going to be um, things that come from the creators that I like. That's what I like. Dun, 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 dun. That's what I like. Strawberry something something. Dun, 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 dun. Lucky for you, that's what I like. Answers. Empowerment. It's funny. When I first saw her, what I saw forgiveness. I, I don't, I didn't even look at the car, but I was like, there's finding forgiveness too. Um, empowerment answers travel and financial health are both call, uh, coming out the empowerment was in the reverse and the financial health are in reverse and with the oracles I usually just say that they need more attention paid to them um, so we'll spend a little bit more time on the empowerment and the financial health and then we will clarify using regular um, tarot also I hope I'm not speaking too loud I'm trying to be louder than the fan behind me but Okay, so your financial health, beautiful, beautiful. All right, um, and this is spell casting, spell casting deck, um, oracle cards. So it says you might find yourself uh, drowning in a sea of red demands if you don't slow down. Um, you're being urged to recognize that your avoidance or inexperience or irresponsibility has become a liability to you. So what it's saying is that there's a situation that you need to communicate about. Not that, you know, because you can't, um, you can't get, you can't squeeze blood out of a stone. You know what I'm saying? So, but the communication of what has been avoided, maybe that's what it's talking about. Um, it says that, um, yeah, so acknowledgement, and then they have a, a little candle ritual that you can do with patchouli oil and a black candle um, on a Saturday. Yeah. Gra um, it says, lend me the courage to build and build power within me, assist me with my transcendence. <laughs> um, magical meaning, stop your extravagance, seek professional advice, Money owed is paid off. Expect a windfall of money. Someone is indebted to you. And have faith as your financial uh, health heals. So that's that's really beautiful. I love that. Okay. So, and then travel. All right. The magical meanings here is that a journey is going to be revealed. Uh, you might need a break you're protected at this time um, by traveling you will get the changes that you seek so by traveling you will be empowered to find the answers towards more questions about financial health that's I'm picking up a little bit more there on that so um, breaking free from your comfort zone here it's also talking about freedom to go in the direction of what you want to go you know so that's that light um, that she found inside of herself. Um, empowerment. Beautiful card. It says stand up and be counted. It's time to get your opinion across. It says somebody is trying to control you. Wow. Someone is t trying to control you. So I'm feeling like this travel is freedom in more ways than one with this empowering 
Uh, you oh wow okay the answers that you seek I love this answers card because it kind of looks like um, uh, the wizard from the Lord of the Rings <laughs> it kind of looks like him so your answers says you could visit a psychic medium for answers or you could get a tarot reading like such as from me um, <laughs> that information is in the description box says um return to studying investigate before proceeding and be open and ready to receive esoteric information so it's time to um yeah it's, it, it basically it's time to find the answers that are within ourselves that's, I think that's mainly saying is this time to empower you and find the answers that have always been with you. It's just sometimes acknowledging and, and pulling them out. All right. Let's use the Kipper deck and let's see this, ooh, this deck. Sometimes. probably should have gotten that one um 36 and the way that it's coming out oh look we've got two boats um two cards indicating that there's going to be travel of some sort you're going somewhere the time is 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 varied uh, between not so long from now and then you know in a little while so maybe it's something to really look forward to knowing that travel might be part of your answer whatever it is that you're trying to figure out what else do we have i have judication in the reverse hmm look some people are really going to be empowered to um settle something outside of court or um let go of judgments that they have on themselves or Anybody that's making you um, feel small or smaller than you are, like, so this is empowering you. And um, when, I, when I see this, I'm feeling like if there's a controlling energy here, then this is, also, this is you releasing any of those um, brainwashing statements that you may have heard that takes away from your power, right? So, yeah, yeah, letting go of... Um, the judgments that we hold against ourselves that keep us truly from our um, full potential. All right, tell me about answers. <laughs> the courthouse. The courthouse might have some answers for you or it's something that is of official business. I like how the um, cards, the, the colors are blending. It really makes me feel like this is exactly how like even she kind of looks like the judge <laughs> here and this looks like very similar energy of um being enlightened and what can a courthouse represent if you're not going to an actual courthouse it could represent who you go to for your answers um who knows how things are <laughs> Or who can, you know, who can maybe even help with communicating financial issues or how to do so. Or how to transfer things, too, and documents and stuff like that. Tell me about financial health. Financial health. I have wealthy man. Holy crap. And a child is somebody, if you don't have a child, this might be somebody who wants a child with you. We have wealthy man and financial health. Good grief. Now, I would say that could be a woman or a man, or it could just be like wealthy. Uh, wealthy person. Wealthy person. So look, this is an energy that will empower you because what if this is you? on your way you know what i mean to um some really good changes in your finances that would be nice for everybody oh, I, I know it would be good for me so i think it would be good for everybody 
All right, so let's see what else we've got. Well, we got wish granted and the unexpected proposal or offer. I feel like somebody's really wanting to help out in a situation. Maybe somebody is, is wanting to be a, um, I can't get that to move any different. Hmm. Anyway, maybe somebody's wanting to be your benefactor. Somebody that really believes in your work, possibly. Whatever it is that you do. All right, so um, I don't know why I keep starting at the travel. Maybe this is where like it all begins. Like that's where you start to find these answers. Um, Chariot is coming across, so Cancer Energy. Tell me about the travel card. Tell me about the travel card. Three of Cups in the reverse. So let's get another one because I, I will need a clarification for that anyways. The Knight of Cups wanting to come out again. It feels like some are going to be getting away because of a group that they're wanting to distance themselves from and they're going in a different direction. Somewhere where the influence is more like it lifts you up and it's, it, it empowers you instead of taking away. Like it's something like that. Um, I'll get another one. This can also mean that you could have a really like good offers here and the opportunity to also kind of overdo it or over party, over celebrate could um, be there and we don't want that either. That's probably what the main message is because I also have seven of cups. So you could be being charmed by somebody. I feel like this is like if, if, if it's for work that this is an offer to go somewhere and it is going to get you away and it's going to get you somewhere where you feel empowered. Tell me more about, um, tell me more about empowerment, strength, courage, and this. It's, it's like, no, we're going to tell you about it. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to tell you to stand up for yourself. Possibly meeting somebody also who's a good influence, who will encourage you to stand up for yourself, who will encourage you or advocate for you, with you, fight for you, with you. That's something that I'm getting. Maybe that's in the not so distant horizons. You have um, an advocate or a bene benefactor. I'm about to kill it. Stay in that. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> so, Seven of Wands is about being, yeah, that is standing in your power, being assertive, going after what you want. This person might be <laughs> looking at you saying, I'm going after what I want. And maybe you're the what they want. That could be it. Also, whew, there's something that we're ending. There's something that we're ending. Ten of Swords, a painful cycle. Okay, so tens are completions, and, and it is a, representing the whole cycle. It is a completion of something that didn't feel the best. <laughs> it didn't feel the best. This energy was, was somebody that basically, these energies didn't want you to feel in your power. And so little by little, like little remark after little remark, it's just like chipping away at self-esteem is what I feel like. Hmm. And so this Ten of Swords, I'm almost positive it has to do with leaving an influence or group or leaving behind some choices that were even self-sabotaging choices to yourself. Things that, you know, that would, that would drive you crazy if you were always the one betraying yourself and so that's putting an end to that cycle that also empowers you yeah that also empowers you okay um tell me tell me about it courthouse answers once you go ahead and um 
<laughs> go ahead, Taro, and give us the answers now. We'll go ahead and take them. <laughs> we'll get them in this reading. Give us our answers, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> literally, literally. No, okay, so yeah. So so all is not clear. No, you're not you don't have all the information. But <laughs> the main answer is in the things that you choose to believe in, the ch things that you choose. Sometimes the things that we use to escape that are getting in the way of responsibilities and that ties into the financial health. And no, um, no, you can't get all the answers to be summed up in one reading. Um, and no, if something is not clear, is something being kept from you? Is what I'm wondering. 1010. There's something in a situation that is also coming to a completion where it will relieve you that it's that it has a completion. It will relieve you. It will be like setting down your your activities for what however long you've been carrying them. Especially if you've been trying to carry other people's burdens or weight, you know what I mean? Carrying the world, the weight of the world on your shoulders, like Atlas. Okay, so 1010 is patience, and um, I do believe divine timing for your answers. Yeah, I think it's saying patience for your answers. They may be telling me patience to you, too, for trying to find answers that are just, for some reason, not be. But when they, but when they do happen, this will be quite a relief with the 1010. Oh, excuse the nails. I haven't, um, I haven't done them, and I'm still <laughs> slowly, slowly growing them because they were really, really weak. Okay, so financial health and wealthy man slash woman. King of Swords, someone who knows, someone who's smart, someone who's an expert. I don't know if this is a lawyer or somebody that you're going to seek advice from, but this person is could be a wealthy person and and they're very smart. Like they know uh, they know their stuff. They know um, what they're talking about. Especially if you're get like if you're getting advice from this person. Yeah, and sometimes it does represent legal things. It it just represents somebody who's very sharp when it comes to, okay, logically, how can we think this out? Logically. Might be dealing with uh, the signs that we've got are Leo, uh, Aquarius, Cancer. We could say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I think. Um, Gemini, Sagittarius. Well, give us uh, a little bit more information on this person who holds the information. In fact, they hold some they hold some of these answers <laughs> for you. I know that's probably obvious to you all, but but yeah. So they hold some kind of answers for you. They are or you are. They might help you make a decision, help you move past a stalemate, help you move past a situation where you have been blocked for quite some time. Whether this is you postponing financial things or postponing movement of some kind, like travel movement, avoiding confrontation is what I'm getting. Um, but this is like being able to help you find a peaceful resolution to a conflict. Oh. Cards are going to jump out of my hands, so I have the full in the cut. So helping you with some kind of big, big decision. This is this could be you. You know what I'm saying? This could be you. At the moment, you feel a little undecided with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, because it requires us uh, ending a cycle that was kind of a vicious cycle. Whether that. It, it, 
It has to do with authority, and it has to do with standing in your own authority, handling those not so fun things in life, but some kind of decision that really needs to be made because I feel like there's probably more than one or two people that have really overstepped their boundaries, whether it's what they've said that it was, you know, slanderous or something like that. But somebody's really overstepped their boundaries because it's pulling out all the big guns um, from spirit to tell you that you need to stand in your power. This is really bossing up. It's a glow up. It's bossing up. It's, it's saying this is what I want and this is me going after it. And, and you have to, so this, and this Queen of Swords in reverse is saying like, something, somebody's waiting on a decision from you, or you could really have Libra energy and, and just have like justice being something that has, something that has to get, um, worked out with a, with something legal. This looks really good. Oh, I gotta admit, all of these cards are really good cards. Um, what's the out? What's the outcome here? You know, if we boss up, <laughs> make a decision to travel or something like that, find answers and travel. What is our outcome? Five of Wands, rising to the top, coming out of one commitment. The lover's energy, uh, meeting a soulmate energy with the lovers. <sighs> one door closes, one door opens. One door closes, one door opens. Fighting for maybe your even attention because here's the two of wands, wants to plan, maybe more than one, but persons want to plan something with you, willing to fight for and go after this for you, for you. Wow. And with the Hierophant in the reverse, I'd say that something happened in a very non-conventional way. It was all so that divinely this lover's card could be the energy of, of two soulmates coming together in some kind of divine meeting somebody that was meant to be, right? meant to help fight with you a fresh new start four cups in the reverse you're already past the stage of being over it so that's what i've got for the collective things that won't change will because there's nothing constant but change itself and um yeah all right we get some tea leaves for you all i have a younger woman and moon changes on the split I say one door closes one door opens there's a diamond the diamond in the rough I psychic ability trust your intuition trust your inner voice inner voice all right, so I have diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. I also have vase, a secret admirer. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. This is my favorite card in the whole deck, and maybe you'll see this if you're traveling or on a boat or near water. Whale, I love this one. The whale, great worry over nothing. It's your answers. Great worry over nothing. This might be a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. This part right here will probably be difficult. The ten of swords and the higher foot in reverse. It might come with this that fly a period of ill health or depression. But I tell you, a, another door ends up opening so quick, you probably won't even notice. You'll be like, oh, I was worried about what? So crown, honor, and res respect will come to you in empowerment. Ladder, climbing towards success. Money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Financial health, 
without good advice from a wise person giving you those answers and then look well family wishes come true remember the kid card was on that kipper deck so yeah okay well let's see what kind of um the oracle of genetic gifts wants to pull out and we'll close with this or we could close with this i've got i've got a few cards that card is busted up what is it six <laughs> life path number six the server kind of makes sense with um virgo energy coming anyway i just pulled that out because that's so crumply I don't think I'm going to keep it in there. Astral projection, out-of-body experience, OBE or teleportation, or could even be like having an out-of-body experience, like seeing a well for the first time, you know, su such an amazing sight that makes you um, feel like you're out of body. Clairsentience, a clear feeling. Clairsentience, clear, whoa, <laughs> clear feeling. Tarot card reader, healer, teacher, guidance, spiritual knowledge, talk radio platform, spiritual affairs. Psychic medium, communication between spirit worlds. Two, uh, life path number two, the partner, ruling planet, the moon, and maternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance, by mother's line, by mother's line. All right. You may be, you know, uh, trying to astral project too. You may be watching videos on that or doing some, you know, like the wild method, I think they've got love, love is in the air, a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. And look, how will you know? Oh, well, signs, your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts or confusions will soon disappear. Flowers will brighten up your space and create a very friendly place. Nature, interacts with nature in the outdoors around animals farmlands or by the ocean this will be good for the soul and healing for you reinvent yourself a transformation is taking place enjoy a new lease on life yes and opportunities on the bottom is an important offer will be made be prepared and dressed to impress intuition trust your intuition it's a great time to learn a new skill change careers or invest money and then surprise a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise and an invitation could bring love to those who are searching. Oh, I've got to do an angel number message too. I always do this. I get, I get down to the end. I'm like, wait a minute. I've got this stuck out here too. And this one. 66. Keep your thoughts positive. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You're encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide while you're manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. I have, I am compassionate. It is your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service. I am compassionate. And that is what I've got for you. If you want a private reading, reach out to me. That information is in the description box below. And I will have um, each individual signs. Readings coming up shortly by, I think by Sunday. So sending you love and light. Bye-bye.